Thanks for pressing play. My name's Ricky, and today we're going to be looking at Pluralsight.com. Now, if you don't know, Pluralsight is an online learning platform, much like Treehouse, Linda, or Udemy that I talked about in previous videos. But what makes Pluralsight unique is that they focus on the working IT professional. So unlike Treehouse, there's going to be a lot less hand-holding. You should have some basic knowledge of what you'd like to study before you take a course. Let's take a closer look. Pluralsight offers topics that are heavily centered on web and software development. Some courses offered are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, C Sharp, Cisco Routing, Node.js, and Windows PowerShell. However, courses on graphic design and soft skills are also available. They've also decided to adopt learning paths, which allow a student to have a more structured experience. And what's unique is that for most topics, they offer a test assessment to rate your fluency. Your proficiency is based on how well you scored in comparison to other students that have taken the assessment. Depending on how you score, Pluralsight will suggest a level to start at, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. This is a great addition as it cuts out a lot of the time used to guess on what you need to study. However, there are a lot of courses that are not in a learning path that can really help you out as well. Some courses even allow for learning checks. It's simply a multiple choice quiz that assesses how well you retain the information. And even if you pass, I wouldn't put that on your resume until you've really dug into the material. And a new program they've launched is Mentors. For a price such as $2 a minute, you can connect with an expert through Skype and bi-directional screen sharing. The education experience varies greatly from course to course. Some, such as the Front End Master Series, are a recording of a workshop where you take a passive role to learning, much like a large lecture you take in college. Others are much more personal with the instructor guiding you along while creating a project line by line consisting of screen recordings and voiceover. Each course is taught by an expert in the field. However, it doesn't mean that each topic is taught by an expert teacher. Some courses can be confusing or bogged down with technical jargon or awkward pauses and vague explanations. However, that's not to say that there aren't expert instructors who are also great teachers. One of my favorite instructors is Susan Simpkins. Susan is naturally gifted and explains concepts in simple terms with simple examples. The quality of video and audio can also vary. Because courses are submitted by instructors remotely, standards vary. One course might be written with dreaded white noise while another is crystal clear. With newer courses, this issue seems to be less prevalent. Pricing for individuals is $24.92 a month for a standard subscription and $41.48 a month for a plus subscription, which is usually lower than most competitors who offer a premium subscription, which is about 50 bucks on average. Now both options offer unlimited viewing, but the biggest difference between the two is that the plus option allows for offline viewing and access to exercise files. For learning websites, I typically lean towards a standard subscription, but because of the complexity of programming, I highly suggest that you opt for a plus option if you're serious about web development and software development. There's nothing worse than having a project not work and not knowing where the issue took place than in programming. Plural sites focus on providing instruction on in-demand, yet very specific knowledge on software and web development is its greatest asset. While going through documentation will provide you with all the information you need, it can be pretty confusing. Having an instructor to help you make sense of the logic can greatly cut down on the confusion. And this happened to me when I was trying to learn Google Maps API. By taking the course itself, I was able to really save a lot of time and actually make sense of what I was looking at when I looked through Google Maps API documentation. Now, if you have a background in programming or web development, I highly suggest that you give Pluralsight a try. It really does work. A while ago, I had an interview for a marketing agency that required you to code up emails in HTML. And that's a lot different than coding for the web. So I looked into Pluralsight and found all the courses I could on coding emails. And in about three days, I had the information I needed. Now, that wasn't the only information I used. I did use some other sources, but that was my backbone. That was the main information I used. Did I get the job? No, but it was totally worth it just to learn the skill. So it really does work, and despite the drawbacks that it has on some issues, you're not going to find a larger library with such specific information as Pluralsight. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Ricky, and remember to always be learning.